guest weekend. Thank you. How are you? We're good. Yay. Are we all right? Thank you. Right. Affected by no trading, but we sold your own. In the end, we will win. All right. Can I check if there is anyone with questions on the work we did last night? We dealt with corresponding accounts received instructions last night, and we tackled exercise number one. And I asked you to go to the notes on giving instructions, correspondent accounts. And that is what we will be dealing with tonight. Is there any clarity seeking question on last night's work? Yes, there is, Mr. There is Mr. Um, yes, uh, can, you, can you do another exercise? about okay. the similar cell that we did in the um, right example, please. So you should know that this is how a question on correspondent accounts receiving instructions may be structured. So it may be structured in one of two ways. It may be structured in one of two ways. The first way being what we did last night, where you are given particulars, such as the particulars we have in exercise number one, where they simply say to you, you receive instructions from your corresponding or instructing attorney to attend to certain instructions. And then you are given the particulars of the instructions with the instruction that you need to record transactions in your books of account, transfer what you are entitled to from the trust account Chabu, to the trust account. Chabu, and, can you uh, please mute Colleagues, may you please mute your mic? Man, I don't hear anything. Yeah. Um, can you please mute yourselves so that no, I do so not so hear please that mute yourself. No, please mute. Can I have all mics muted? You will only unmute yourself if you want to speak or if you have a question. Thank you very much. Let us proceed. So I was saying to you that a question on receiving instructions, correspondent accounts, may be structured in one of two ways. The first being what we did last night, where you are given particulars of the instructions that you must execute. But another way is that they may simply show you a statement of account. They show you a statement of account and then say to you that this is the statement that you have prepared and sent to the correspondent. Um, let's go back to last uh, night's exercise for illustration purposes for you to see how these can be structured. Remember when we ended our transaction, we ended it with a statement of account. Do you see it? Is it appearing on your screen? Can everybody see the yes, statement of account on the screen? Yes, Mr. Yes. yes. Right. Yes. Right. You, you will see that it is the last thing that you do after performing your mandate. Not so. So it is possible that this type of a question on receiving instructions may be set in a manner that you are presented with a statement and they say to you that you receive, I mean, you send the following statement to your correspondent who had instructed you in a collection matter. So it is important that you 
read and properly analyze the wording of the instruction given to you. So if they say to you that you send the following statement to your correspondent, then you need to know that this is a statement of account that you generated. This is a statement of account that you drafted. You produced it. You are the one sending it to your correspondent or to the instructing attorney. Consequently, it means that you are the one who did the work in the matter because you are the one sending the statement of account to the correspondent. In such a situation, they will say to you, enter the contents of the statement into your books of account. Enter the contents of the statement into your books of account. What they actually want you to do here is to show them how you arrived at this statement of account. And what do you do in answering? You simply go back and you deal with the contents as they appear on the statement. For example, you have item number one on the statement. What is it? What is the first item on the statement? It's paid tracing it's agent. Tracing agent. So right. It's paid tracing agent. So you need to demonstrate how you recorded the payment of a tracing agent in your books of account. And how do you do this? How would this transaction appear in your books of account? How will you deal with this? And the business cash book. Yes. You'll go to the business cash book. And what do you do in the business cash book? You debit. Are you receiving payment? Yes. Credit. No, sorry. No, 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 no you're making payment. Credit, we are paying. You're credited because you're making a payment. Exactly. So, it means in so far as item number one is concerned, you will go to the business cash book, you will credit it, and your narration will be paid tracing agent. What else will you do still in item number one? You open Nyamsoro Nyam in business. You will open an account for Nyamsoro attorneys in business, not so? Yes. And what yes. do you do and then? You debit. You, debit. Yes. you debit that account. From there, where do you go? You go to the next item on the statement, not so? Yes. And what is the next yes. item? Fees. Someone's fees. fees. Someone's fees. Someone's fees. How did you deal with the someone's fees? How did you record this? In the fees journal. It, it you is dealt with it in the fees journal. journal. So you will open a fees journal where you will credit fees and VAT and then debit Nyamsoro attorneys in business. Not so. Yes, yes. and then you post, you Then you give a narration. Right. And in your narration, what do you say? Someone's fees plus VAT at 15%. Efficient. Excellent. It will be someone's fees plus VAT at 15%. Yes. And from there, where do you go? Post on ledger. You post Back to ledgers. Ledger. You post to ledgers. And then you move to the next item. And then you will see also here that once you deal with the summons fees, it takes you up until item number five. Do you see? Yes. Yes. Be yes, yes. Because obviously, after recording the summons fees, you will also give an allowance. Yes. So you'll go back to the fees journal where you will debit fees and vet this time around and then yes. credit it. the correspondent being Nyamsoro attorneys in business. <clears throat> and then you go to item six. And what do you do there? 
Cashbook. You pay the sheriff. Which account? Business. business. Cash cash cash. The business account, because there are no funds in the trust account. And how do you record this uh, transaction? You credit, you credit, uh, you credit, you credit the business cash book. And what do you say in crediting the business cash book? Paid sheriff. Paid sheriff. Paid sheriff. And what else do you do? You go to Nyamsoro in business account. You go to Nyamsoro's account in business. And, and what do you do there? You debit, 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 debit. You debit Nyamsoro's account in business. And what is your narration on Nyamsoro's account in business? Cash book. Nyamsoro cash book. Business cash book. Yeah. Business cash book. Cash book. Yes. And then you go further and you deal with item number seven. What is that? The debtor it payment. is the debtor paid. You receive payment from the debtor. Yes. Collection. Is this your fund? Is it your money? No, no it's, it's not. not. No. Where does it go? Trust. 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 It goes to the trust. Trust cash book. Trust. It must go to the trust cash book. Yes. In the trust cash book, do you debit or do you credit? You credit it. Yeah, you debit. You debit. You debit. debit. Because it's coming. You debit. You debit. And yeah, why yes, do you debit? Because it's coming it's in. into it's our account. Money received. You debit because you are receiving money. And what else will you do there? You go to um, open Yamsoro in trust. Uh, you open an account for Yamsoro in trust. And we debit. We, we credit. You yes. credit Nyamsoro's account in trust. In trust, yes. Right. Then you are done with item number seven. You then go to eight. What do you do at item eight? You calculate the 10% of your collection fees. And we credit it. Right. There you need to deal with collection commission. And you'll remember we said that collection commission is charged at 10% of the amount that you have collected. Not so. And the narration is yes. provided yes. that it does not exceed the maximum allowed. Under five. Do you remember this? Yes. Yes, yes sir. sir. Right. Right. So in our case here, collection commission will be how much? 300 trans. 300. And why is it 300? 10% of 3,000. 10 3, because it is 3% of, I mean, 10% of 3,000. Okay. Yes. So we record these in the fees journal. And the reason we do so is that collection commission is a fee. Not so? Yes. 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 So we will draw our fees journal where we will credit fees and vet and debit the correspondent, in this case being Nyamsoro attorneys in business. So do you see how you tackle this type of a question when it is um, set in this manner? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. So that is it yes, on, sir. on correspondent accounts receiving instructions. So you need to know that it may be brought to you in one of two ways. It may either be that it takes the form that it took last night or it takes this form where they say you send. The magic word there is send. You send the following statement to your correspondent you send and once you see the word send you need to understand that it means you produced the statement you drafted the statement it was it Hello, was sir. a better way you dealt with the instructions is it making sense hello sir yes it does yes sir hello sir yes sir i'm with you you may sir, ask no. i'm no, here to say 
your battery on your laptop is low, sir. It's on 13%. Hey, one. <laughs> For instance, your, your laptop. Hey, load shedding make us to no notice laugh. things, eh? Load shedding make us yeah, to no notice No, you don't extra vigilant. Extra vigilant, bro. Oh. We appreciate that. You never check his battery. Don't laugh. Okay. No, 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 Alter, don't worry. We, we, we appreciate your, your vigilance. So how are you guys doing? Uh, so far, so good. Can't complain. That's how have you been? Guys, no so good, brother, because there's it's load shedding. It's all about talking. Can you please just, just keep load quiet? Load shedding has it's caused some chaos. Yeah, we fear. Our focus of uh, concentration gets compromised. I was supposed to be there forever. And now we must start over again, missing the points and saying, yes, yes, we understand. I'm just thinking, why can't the lecturer and now we're getting our recordings on Friday. So we're losing time on other subjects as well, where we can give us answers to those ones and we can work it out on our own and try and, and learn these formats. Because obviously now we're all saying yes, yes, yes. But when the laptop is all closed, then everyone forgot everything. So obviously now uh, it's not plagiarism for him. I'm sure he can get the model answers. And where we can also... Uh, and, and if we keep talking, we won't even get these recordings. We were warned on email. So please, guys, I'm sure we have enough talk that we do during the day. Let's just listen to the lecture and allow the recording so that we can get it on Friday. Please. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you so much for that. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, le let us proceed. Let us proceed. So I was just saying to you that this is how a question on receiving instructions may be structured. There are two ways. So you just need to master both of these ways. And each time you deal with a situation in bookkeeping, please read, analyze, Try your best to understand what is happening and then apply your mind. So if I may ask, um, can you proceed to explain the 12th transaction and why that particular narration and how did you go about finding that uh, amount? Because my network yesterday cut off because of low trading when we're about to arrive at that stage. 
It's yeah. okay. Okay, we can deal with number 12. And this is on the understanding that once we deal with number eight, it will take us to 11. You will see that number eight deals with collection <coughs> commission, which I had just explained. Um, so it will take you to 11. Yes. Number 12, by EFT, here it means we are paying, we are paying the sum of 2,340 by electronic fund transfer. Yes. We are paying it to the correspondent or to the um, Nyamsoro attorneys. Yes. So how did we arrive at 2,340? We went to the trust cash book. Yes. And this is when we are dealing with um, last night's work. The trust cash book, you will see that on the debit side, there's an amount of 3,000 that we collected. Yes. Here it is. Do you see? Yes, I do see it. Right. We collected these, and because we were receiving a payment, we debited the trust cash book. Yes. But then, on the credit side, you'll see there's an amount of 660. Do you see? Yes, I do see it. Right. And what did we say in explaining this um, amount? Transfer to business cash book. Not so. Yes. And this 660 is what is due to us. Sorry, sir, there is an echo. Sorry, sir, there is an echo we cannot hear. An echo from where? That is where you are. Is it where I am? Somebody, yeah, it's, it's, it's from your side. So go to a place where there is no echo. Right. So the 660 is due to us. We transferred it from the trust account to the business account, as the narration says. Yes. We were taking it from the 3,000. Yes. And when you take 3,000 and minus 660, what do you get? You Use arrive. your calculator. What do you get? We arrive at 2,340 rands. Yes. And looking at the trust cash book again, what do we say next to the 2,340? Paid Nyamsoro Atenis. Right. Let's go to our statement of account. What are we saying here? By EFT. Oh, all right. And this statement of account, to whom is it addressed? It's addressed to Nyamsoro Atenis. Exactly. All right. I understand now. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, sir. Are we now ready to deal with correspondent accounts giving instructions? Yes, we are ready, sir. Right. Take Let's it. do so. Let's do so. And I take it that you went through the steps that I said, please go and look at. But let me explain this for your understanding. But effectively attend to the matter in that different time. And also, you learn that in terms of the rules of court, you need to appoint an address within 15 kilometers from the courthouse. And you realize that your practice is in Bushburg Ridge. Your practice is in Bushburg Ridge, and you have a meta at Mbombela. From Bushburg Ridge to Mbombela, it's way more than 15 kilometers. So you need to appoint an address within 15 kilometers, and yours will not work. So you decided to appoint another law firm in Mbombela. You appoint a law firm in Bombella. So you become an instructing attorney. 
and that law firm or that attorney in Bombela becomes a, a correspondent attorney. Is it making sense? So you give them instructions. They will work on your behalf. They will execute the instruction on your behalf. And after having executed the instruction on your behalf, they will account to you. They will account to you, and in accounting to you, they will transmit to you a statement of account. They will send you a statement of account. When you receive the statement of account, you are required to enter the contents of the statement of account in your own books of account. You are required to record the contents of this statement in your own books of account. In order for you to properly and or accurately record the contents of the statement in your books of account, you must follow the six steps that I said you should go through last night. You follow the six steps. So in order for you to identify this type of an exercise that it is giving instructions, the magic word will be receive. You receive the following statement from your correspondent. You receive the following statement. And once you hear that, you then understand that this is a statement that was not generated by yourself. You got it from somewhere. Somebody did the work somewhere. And they are reporting to you. They are accounting to you. You have received a statement of account. And in order for you to record the content of the statement of account in your own books of account, you need to follow the six steps. Let us quickly summarize the six steps. And these steps, please, you need to know by heart. You need to know these six steps by heart. There's no other better way of answering this question without you knowing and or mastering these six steps. Step number one. Step number one, you deal with the payment received. Deal with the payment received or the EFT. In the past, we called these the check amount. We called these the check amount in the past. So today you can simply say the payment received, the payment that you are receiving yourself, or the EFT amount. That is the first step that you should attend to. Where do you see this payment received or the payment that you are receiving? Where do you see it? Please go to the notes sent to you, go to the first exercise or the first question on giving instructions exercises for easy illustrations. Are you able to get that quickly? Yes. 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 If That's it is far, if it is far, we can still use this one which I'm sharing with you. You see? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. if that one is fine, you can, we can see. Check here with. Yes, yes. So this was drafted using the old system, eh? Check, check here with. You can simply say to EFT instead of check here with. You can simply say to EFT because checks have been discontinued. We no longer use commercial checks in South Africa. Right. 
So that is the first step. And where do you see that? Where do you find that? You find that on the debit side of the statement and at the bottom. What do you do with this? Or what does this tell you? It tells you that there is an amount of money that you are receiving. There's an amount of money that you are receiving from your correspondent attorney. Is it your money? No. Yes. Is it your money? Yes. Yes. No. 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 Business. Business. No. 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 It's not. The client money. It's not your money. That is a first step towards suspension from the role of practicing attorneys. I will translate back, uh, sir. sir? <laughs> it is not your sir? money. Yes, sir. Sir, yes. the study guide says instructed attorney. One is the instructing and one is the instructed. No, there's, there's no problem with that. You, you're saying the study guide says one is the instructing, another is the, is the instructed. Yes. Yeah, that should not be a problem. The instructed attorney is the correspondent attorney, so you should not be worried by, by that. Do you follow? The instructed yes. attorney is the correspondent attorney. And then you have the instructing attorney. So that should not give you a problem. Do you follow, sir? Yes. Hello? That should not give you a problem, sir. Yes. It should not confuse you at all. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's proceed. So, this is not your money. It is your client's money. This is not your instruction. You were instructed by a client. And you, in turn, instructed another attorney to assist you because you are far away from the court where the mandate is to be executed. Do you follow? So when there's a collection, it is a collection on your behalf, but you too were acting on behalf of a client. Is it making sense? Yeah, yes, sir. No, don't worry. We'll hear you back, sir. Yes, sir. So you will take the EFT amount to your trust account. You will debit the trust cash book and then open an account for the correspondent attorney and credit it. Is it making sense? Debit your trust cash book and then open an account for the instruct, I mean, for the correspondent attorney in trust and credit it. Then you are done with the first step. You then proceed to the second step. In the second step, you deal with the collected sorry, amount. Sorry, sorry. Yes, yes, madam. Can you just say that again? When we're speaking about, we debit the trust cash book and then we open the account for, for the correspondent attorney. What's the last stage? Yeah, you, you open an account for the correspondent attorney in trust and you credit it. Have you captured it, madam? Sorry, I lost you there. Can you just say um, it again? Sorry, I lost you. There was a glitch that happened there. Okay, I'm saying you debit the trust cash book with the EFT amount, and then you open an account for the correspondent in trust, and you credit it with the same amount in order to complete the dual entry system. You debit the trust cash book because you are receiving a payment. I got it, thank you very much. All right, you're welcome. All right. Um, Can we now go to step me. number two? Okay. Um, sorry, sir. I just want to ask where do you find the six steps because I got a bit disconnected uh, yesterday. So I didn't know that we were supposed to 
go over the six steps and I want to know where I can find them. It, it, it's okay. Just uh, capture them as we deal with them because if you are going to read now, when we are dealing with them, it may be disturbing to you. Just capture them. The first step is the EFT amount. Have you captured that? Yes, I have captured it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And then the, right. now we're dealing Let's with the. Let's go connection. to the next one. Let's go to the next one. So it's it's easy. You can actually answer. simply go to the chapter that deals with corresponding accounts. Eh? All right. Let's go to step number two. What is what our step number two? Yes. Collected amount. In our step number two, we deal with the collected amount. <laughs> what is this? What is this? This is the amount that the correspondent or the instructed attorney has collected. This is the amount that the correspondent attorney has collected. Where do we find this? We will find this on the credit side of the statement. We'll find these on the credit side of the statement. That is the highest value on the credit side. Can somebody identify it? 3,000. It's 6,000. Oh. 6,000. 6,000. 6, if we are using the statement, uh, I mean, the statement on the note sent to you, it's 6,000. If we are using the statement on the board shared with you, it's 3,000. Do you see? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. right. So what do we do with this? Ask yourself a question. It is said to be a collected amount. Who collected it? Is it us or is it the correspondent attorney? Is, is this money? The correspondent attorney. It was collected by the correspondent attorney. Now, is it money that we are receiving or are we just told that this is the value that the correspondent received and not us? We just told you. We just told. Uh, We're just given information. Not right. Right. Now, in the end, we ask, in the end, we ask, is this a cash transaction or a non-cash transaction to us? Non-cash. Non-cash non transaction. Excellent. To us, this is a non-cash transaction, but when it was collected by the correspondent, it was a cash transaction to them. Not so. So to yes, us, yes, it is a non-cash transaction, so we will not go to any of the cash books. Do you follow? Yes. We will not go to any of the cash books. Instead, what will we do? We will go to a book that deals with non-cash transactions. And what is that? A journal. A journal. We will record this in a journal. Yeah. Right. The relevant journal that we are going to use here is called Trust Journal. It is called Trust Journal. That is the journal we are going to use. What is this? What is this? This is a journal that Sir? is used to record the movement of value from one account to another in trust. A trust journal is used to record the movement of value from one account to another in trust. You will only find this in trust. It does not take from trust to business or from business to trust. It is only limited to trust transactions. Is it making sense? It records the Hello, movement sir? of value from one account to another in trust. Hello, sir, it, can you it works me? like it works like the transfer journal. But the difference between a trust journal and a transfer journal is that the trust journal is limited to trust transactions. It takes from one account to another in trust. Whilst the transfer journal 
moves from trust to business, sometimes from business to trust. You saw it last night when we transferred our fees and disbursements from the trust account to the business account. We made use of a transfer journal. But here, we are going to make use of a trust journal. And how do we record on this trust journal? We'll ask ourselves this question. Who made the collection? Who collected? And your answer will be the correspondent. And the next question will be, to whom is this collection or money due? Or whose money is this? Your client. So what it means is that on the trust journal, you will debit the correspondent and credit your client. You will debit the correspondent and credit your client. And your narration will be collected amount. Collected amount. Now, after recording this on the trust journal, you then remember that you've just made use of a journal. And after using a journal, what else must happen? Post, you post to, to ledgers. ledgers. Now ask yourself this, to which ledgers between trust and business are you posting? Which ledgers? Trust. Trust, trust. trust ledgers. Trust. Why? Because study your money. Because these transactions the emanate money. from trust transactions. Trust. Not so. Yes. Yes. Right, then we go to step number three. In step number three, we deal with costs. In step number three, we deal with costs. Where do we get this? You go back to the statement. You go back to the statement. You look at the debit side of the statement. All the amounts appearing on the debit side of the statement, except the EFT amount, are costs. All the amounts appearing on the debit side of the statement are, your, are the costs, except the EFT amount. What do you do with this? In order for you to know what to do with this, you ask yourself, who incurred these costs? Who incurred? In other words, who's entitled to this cost? To whom are these costs due? Who did the work attorney. here? Corresponding who, attorney. The correspondent attorney. Do you follow? Now the next question is, who is liable? Who should pay these costs? Who caused the costs to be incurred? Client. Your client. Your client. Now, these costs, you ask yourself, are this money you are receiving or is this money you are paying? Or none of the above. You are not receiving this money, neither are you making any payment. None of the above. This to you is a non-cash transaction. These are just particulars given to you. You are told how much it was for the matter to be done. Hello, sir? Not... Yes. Hello, sir? You can hear yes, me? Sir. I lost connection you. there. Uh, one, one, of the other course, uh, one of the other participants in this meeting asked if you can type on screen uh, questions and answers. No, no. Remember, we are discussing the steps now. We are simply discussing the steps. We are still going to answer this practical exercise. Okay. Do you hear me, what sir? What was step number two again? Was it the trust journal? 
Yes. Step number two, we dealt step with the trust two, general amount. Yeah. In, in step number two, we deal with the collected amount. So we used a trust journal where we debited the correspondent and credited our client. So in, in our step number three, where we deal with costs, because we know that the correspondent is entitled to the costs and our client is liable, we will go to the trust journal. We will not use the fees journal because these are not fees to us. These are not fees to us. These were fees to the correspondent and not to us. So we will go to the trust journal. And in the trust journal, we will debit our client because our client is liable. We will debit our client with the total of the costs and then credit the correspondent. We'll debit our client and credit the correspondent. And our narration will simply be costs. Our narration will simply be costs. And then we, we post to ledgers. We post to ledgers. And the ledgers to which we are posting will be in trust because we are posting transactions which appear on a trust journal. And then we are done with our step number three. We then move to step number four. What do we deal with in step number four? In step number four, we deal with fees. We deal with fees in step number four. And whose fees are these? Whose fees are we dealing with? Our own fees. In step number four, we deal with our fees. Where do we get our fees? We go back to the statement. The this time, we look at the credit side of the statement. When you look at the credit side of the statement, you will see that there are figures reflected there, except the collected amount. There are figures reflected there, except the collected amount. Those figures you will see represent the allowances given to us by the correspondent. In other words, in correspondent accounts giving instructions, our fees comprise of the allowances given to us by the correspondent. Our fees are made up of the allowances given to us by the correspondent. How do we record this? How do we record this? What we do is we will first determine the total allowances on fees we add. And then we determine the total allowances on VET. And because these are fees and VET to us, we will record in a book called a fees journal. We will go to the fees journal where we will credit fees and vet and then debit the correspondent attend. In our statements here, please tell me how much our fee is. Well, the one on the exercise that was circulated is easier. Please. Show me on the one that is shared on your board here. How much? 230 Rand. No, not, not fees plus VAT, only fees. I want you to tell me what the total fee is and what the total uh, VAT is. Split them. 230. No, 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 that is fees plus VAT. Is it not the 200, 200 uh, and, and then and then 30 Yes. Yeah, but I don't have any VAT value given here. Yeah, but give me give me fees only. Two hundred. Two hundred. Vet. Two hundred. Vet. So in total, you have how much? Two thirty. Two hundred and thirty. Then you go to your fees journal, where you will credit your fees with two hundred, credit vet with thirty, and then debit the correspondent attorney with a total of two thirty. Does everybody get this? No, sir. Can you repeat? No. 
Step number three again. Step number three. Can you repeat that? We are at step number four. Yes. We said that. You know, we repeat number four. Step number three. Eh? Hey. Step number four. We are at step number four, sir. Step three. Yes, four. Can we finish, please? Step number three was. So we go back to three because you are checking us back. So say. Listen to the recording or check the four, and then we capture that. When you have a question for step three, we go back, please. This is two hundred because we have a hundred and hundred. Babalo, please can you mute? We can't hear what's going on. Zamakwake, please. Our fees are made up of allowances received from the correspondent. So we add the total of the allowances on fees. We then go to the fees journal and credit. We come back to add the total allowances on VAT, and then we go to the fees journal and credit our VAT. And then we take the total of the fees and the VAT and debit the correspondent. Our narration will be allowance received. Or you can still say fees plus VAT. There's nothing wrong with that. You can use either fees plus VAT or allowance received. Is it making sense? Right, so this is our step number four. No. Just after making use of the Sorry, journal, sir. yes. Sorry, sir. Can you just repeat? Who do we debit? In step number four. Yes. Who gave you the allowance? Correspondent. The, the correspondent. correspondent. So you debit the correspondent. You credit fees and vet, and you debit the correspondent. And your narration will be fees plus vet, or you can say allowance received if you are even able to determine the rate at which the allowance was given you can also mention that rate for example one third allowance received is it making sense yes right then you remember also that you've made use of a journal and each time you make use of a journal you also post two ledgers not so yes Right. Then you post to relevant ledgers. And which are those ledgers? Business or trust? Business. Trust. Business ledgers. And this is because you are dealing with fees to which you are entitled. So you post. Hello, sir. Sir, can you hear me? 
I think he's on mute. Maybe he'll join again. All right, thank you. Are we still online? It seems like we're waiting for the lecture. Yes, we're just waiting for the lecturer to get back. This is a serious struggle, hey? Colleagues, sorry, man. The, for 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 us who don't have uh, what do you call it textbooks, uh, the activities for today, the questions for today, was it sent to us? The notes that it is on the portal. Um, on your announcements, that's what we're using. So remember, yesterday we were doing. Um, yesterday we were doing uh, receiving instructions. So today we are focusing on receiving instructions. That's where we're dealing with the statement of account that came out from Mr. Zara and Mr. Sabata. That's what we're looking at today. I Thank hope that you. Helps. you no, are. Thanks, thanks Teresa. Kudos, your mic, please.
Upload it on Friday, and that's if we guys don't talk throughout the whole session. So it's best that we just keep quiet. Okay. Um, if I may ask, when will the letter of was an SDP? Uploaded the one of Friday. We were promised that to be uploaded by today, but we still don't have it. Is there anyone who's still on the class? Yes, yes, we are here. Yes, yes we're still we are here. here. We're waiting for the lecturer. Okay, thank you. We're all here. We're just behaving ourselves. Oh, wonderful. Mm, mm, I'm, I'm, I'm on lunch. In 12 minutes, there will be load shedding again this side. Mabasa, could you please mute yourself?
Honorable Ho, may you please mute your mic? Ladies and gents, we love hearing about your life, but please can you mute your mics? I think the lecturer must be having signal problems. He cannot reconnect. Everybody else's mics on mute. I think he's, he's having signal problems. It's fine. We'll wait. Is everybody here? Yes, we are here. Yes. yes. Have you heard me reading the question? Yes, sir. Have no, you heard me reading the practical exercise? I so say you will you'll wait for a few minutes. Which question? The practical question one. No, sir, we're still on step four. One step four, sir. The, uh, the last time you, you know after you were done explaining step, uh, step four, oh. so then we need to pick up from step, the last part of step four when we're speaking that we now pass to the business ledger. So then the next thing that we'll be going to presumably would be step five. <laughs> I'm done explaining step five and six. <laughs> you were muted. We didn't hear anything. You, you know where I am now. I'm actually yeah. now even dealing with the practical Done. exercise. No, <laughs> you're you're explaining to yourself, sir. Yeah. 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 So you might have lost connectivity or you were muted, but the last thing we all heard was the last of step four. We were all waiting for you to return. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> we even behaved so we didn't even ask questions. We just kept quiet. <laughs> this thing of being a good student is not good also sometime. <laughs> Are you back now? All right. Straight forward talk. Jamela, please mute your mic. Sorry, sir, it seems that you have gone away again. I'm not sure if you can hear me. 
but um, I can't see you on the screen and we can't hear anything. No, I'm yeah. waiting for you. You seem to be going up and up. Do, do you hear me now? Copy that, sir. Yes, can I... yes we can hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, yes, we can yes, hear you yes, now. Okay. Can hear you. Proceed. No, yes. OK. It's fine. We'll go back to step. In step number five, we deal with transfer. We need to transfer the fees that we wrote in step number four. We need to transfer the fees that we wrote in step number four. And there are two things you need to do before transfer. And what are those? Number one, you need to firstly determine how much is due to you. You should determine how much you are entitled to. And number two, check if you have sufficient funds in the trust account to cover what is due to you. Do not just rush to transferring from trust to business. First determine how much is due to you. And once you are satisfied with how much is due to you, you then check if it is available in the trust account. Once you are satisfied that you have sufficient funds in the trust account to cover what is due to you, you can proceed with the transfer. This you do to avoid instances where you transfer more funds than what you actually have in the trust account. And that ends up creating a deficit in your trust account. And you should not have a deficit in your trust account. You should not have your trust account operating on the negative. So once you're satisfied that you have sufficient funds in the trust account to cover what is due to you, you then open a transfer journal where you will debit the correspondent in trust and credit the correspondent in business with the total of the amount due to you. Your narration will be transfer of allowance or simply Transfer of fees plus VAT. You're speeding now, sir. Have you captured that? May you please repeat that, sir? You said you open a transfer journal? When you open a transfer journal, mm -hmm. debit the correspondent in trust, credit the correspondent in business and your narration will be transfer of fees plus vet if there is vet or simply transfer of allowance So what do you what do you credit? Credit correspondent in business. Thank you. And then post to relevant ledgers. So debit debit, debit trust first. debit correspondent in trust and credit correspondent in business. Then you are done with step number five. You proceed to step number six. Sorry, sir. I just wanted to ask then after we are done. Uh Trust and crediting the correspondent. You said we post to where do we post? You post to ledgers. Okay, yeah, thank you very much. Okay. 
And then you go to step number six, which is the last step in the transaction. And sorry, Mr. Mahabe, the narration. Your narration will be transfer of allowance or transfer of fees plus vet. Thank you. You're welcome. Can we now go to step number six? Yes, sir. In step number six, you account to your client. So you will draw a statement of account. You'll draw a statement of account. You account to your client because these are your client's instructions you are executing. And you are done with the with the question. Can we now answer this practical exercise? Yes, sir. <clears throat> yes, sir. Let's proceed. Let me read it. Sorry, sir. Yes. I just wanted to find out. I can't see your screen off on my side, and I think I'm not the only one. I'm not writing anything on the screen, sir. OK, OK, no problem. I'm simply explaining or discussing the steps with you. OK, OK, thanks. OK. Has everybody located the practical exercise? Question number one on giving instructions. Yes. Have you all located it? Yes. Right. Yes. Right. You receive the following statement from your correspondent. Lolly Weh Inc. In a matter where they acted for you to collect 6,000 from Mr. Zahara for your client, Mr. Sibata. And here's the statement of account. Mr. Zahara versus Mr. Sibata. To instruction fee, 90 debited. Your one third allowance, 30 credited. Pay tracing agent fee, 140 debited. Cash, Mr. Rex, 6,000 credited. Collection commission, 600 debited. One third allowance, 200 credited. To EFT, 5,400 debited. Now listen to the instruction. You are required to A, record all the above transactions in your books of account or of prime entries and ledger accounts. Transfer the amounts you are entitled to to your business banking account. B, account fully to your client by preparing an accounting statement. C, ignore VET for 30 marks. How do we record this? So you will start with your step one, uh, where you look at the EFT amount. Yes. Which you mentioned um, that the EFT amount you'll find at the debit side at the bottom yes and we must put this in the debit trust cash book yes so the eft amount is five thousand something Five thousand four hundred. Yes, please tell me what we should do. 
you open Mr. account open in Pass. The... You open we account in Trust. Open trust cash book. Open trust cash book. Then debit it for the amount. Does everybody agree with this? And then we, yeah, we debit. Yes, we debit. we debit the amount in the trust cash book. So the business trust cash book. Business trust. Ah, uh -uh, it's one of those two. It's one of those two. Trust cash book. Trust cash book. Trust cash book, not business trust cash book. Trust cash book. Then we then we credit. We sold over five hundred thousand dollars worth of spices. That's so crazy. That went from selling to my town to selling nationwide one week. It's a whole new business now. I built a multi-million dollar company just on the topic of. Can you please mute yourself? Sorry, but he's, I don't know if it's their TV or something playing. Please mute yourself. Thank you. Then we're going to open account in trust for the instructed attorney. Where we are going to credit them. Okay. So what do we do here? And Netflix. Somebody allowed Netflix. <laughs> we debit, we debit. We debit lonely waiting. Debit. And what do we say? <laughs> Payment received from correspondent. Right, check. So we will debit. Okay, we open the trust cash book. And then we will have our um, table there with particulars, debit column, and credit column. On the debit side, we will record, I mean, on the particulars, we will record Lolly Way Inc. And we will debit how much? 5,400. And where do we go? Where else do we go? Create a corresponding account for, for the corresponding attorney. What trust? We need to open yeah. Lolly Way Inc. Trust. Lolly Way book. Inc. Trust. We open an account for Lolly Way Inc. In trust. In trust. Right. And what do we do here? We credit them. Credit it. 5,400 rand to them. Right. So, under particulars, what do we write as our narration? Trust cash book. Trust cash book. Trust cash book. Debit or credit? Credit. Credit. We credit. credit. And our narration has already been given as trust cash book, and the amount is 5,400 on the credit side. So we are done with our step number one. Do you see? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. All right. Can we go to step number two? Proceed, sir. What do we do there? What do we deal with? Deal with collected amount. Collected amount. Yeah. How much is the collected amount? Six thousand. Six thousand. 
Where do we deal with this? First general. First general. First general. We must go to the trust journal. What do we do on the trust journal? What do we do? We record we the, the collected amount. The only way in. Lowly way. Ink. We debit how much? Six thousand. Six thousand. Five thousand four hundred. Six thousand. Six thousand. My apologies. And what else? Uh, allowance. Yeah, One said allowance. Supposed to let you. Supposed to let. Only recorded lowly way ink in the trust journal. Ah. We need to open Mr. Sibata's trust. Mr. Sibata. Debit or credit? Credit. 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 How much? Credit. 6,000. 6,000. Narration? Collected the amount. Collected amounts. Collected amount. From here, where do you go? Post to ledger. You ledger? post to ledgers. On Lollyway Inc. and Trust, what do you do? Debit. Debit. Collected. Debit or credit? Debit. Yes. Debit how much? 6,000. Mm. What else do you do? Open Mr. Swatin Trust. And what do you do there? We are going to credit Mr. Swat. Right. So we open an account for Mr. Sabata in trust. And it will have all the columns for particulars, debit and credit. And below particulars, we will write, we will write, only way. Ink. Only way ink. Do we debit or do we credit? Credit. We credit, credit. how much? 6,000. 6,000. So are we done with step number two? Yes. Where do we go from here? Ledger. Where do we go? Costs. We go to step number three. Yes. We go to step number three to deal with costs. What is the total of our costs? What is the total of our costs? Use your calculator. 230, 200. 
Where do we get costs? Please do not confuse costs with fees. In step number three, we are dealing with costs, not fees. 830. How much? The amount on the debit side. Remember we said we add the amount on the debit side. Except, except the, for, for, your, for the, the EFT. EFT. Yeah. Yes. Okay. How much? 830. Does everybody get this? 830. Yes. yes. Right. Where do we record this? No, sir, we don't. Some of us were lost. Uh, can you repeat it, please? Say I am lost, not some of us, sir. <laughs> Say I am <laughs> lost. Yes, I'm <laughs> lost. <laughs> yes. My apologies. Yes. Which part did you not get, sir? Uh, the step three, we are uh, we're looking at the... Pay tracing agent fee, isn't it? Step three, sir, we said we deal with costs. We determine the total of the costs, which we said we will find on the debit side of the statement. We add all the amounts reflected on the debit side of the statement, except the EFT amount. What total do you get on the debit side of the statement when you exclude the EFT? So it's 90 plus 140 plus 600. Not so. Yeah. What is the total? 830. Yes, 830, sir. Thank you. 830. Does everybody get this figure? 830. Yes. yes. yes what do we do with it? Trust journal. Trust journal. Trust we go journal. To the trust journal. And what De do we do? Clients debit clients. Debit. Debit. So we will debit Mr. Sabata. Not so. We will debit Mr. Sabata with how much? It's 8.30. Yes. yes. And we'll credit Loliwe Inc. With how much? 8.30. With the same amount. Yeah. 8.30. And your narration will be? Cost. Cost. From here, where do you go? Ledger. Ledger. Post to ledger. So you must post to ledgers. Yes. Mr. Sparta, what do you do? What do you do on Mr. Sparta? Credit eight. Debit. Debit how much? We debit. Debit. Yeah. Yes. Debit 830. Yes. Debit 830. Yes. Debit 830. Yes. No leeway. Yes. In trust. Yes. What do you do? We debit credit. Credit. Credit how much? 830. 830. So this way you are done with step number three. Can we go to step number four? Can we? Yes. yes sir. In our step number four, what do we do? What do we deal with? The fees. Our fees. Our fees. Where do we get our fees? You said we must look at the credit side of the statement. Yes. Except for Yes. How much? Two thirty. Where do we record this? Fees journal. Fees journal.
Please do. Yeah. So we are open our fees journal, which will have columns for particulars, debit, and credit. What do we have? Only way in, not so. Uh -huh. Yes. Under particulars, you'll have lonely way ink and fees. We don't have that. Do you see? Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. Are you still with me? We don't have that. And the reason we do not have that is that in C, we were told to ignore that. Do you see? Yes. 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 So. Lonely way ink, we will debit. How much? How much are we debiting? 230. 230. Fees, how much are we crediting? 230. 230. 230. 230. 230. 230. Right. Narration? Fees. Fees. Or, or allowance, allowance received. received. Mm. So from here, where do we go? Ledgers. Post to ledger. Post to ledgers. Yes. Trust or business ledgers? Trust. No business. Business ledgers. Business ledgers. Business ledgers. Do we have them? No. No. What do we do? We open. open them. We open them. We open them. And that will be Mr. Sibata Inc. in business. and fees. Sir, I said, you said things no leeway. Think. No leeway, not Mr. Smart. Mm -hmm. Right. No leeway, ink. You are with me, eh? <laughs> we are together, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Plus a bit. Plus under fees. A bit and credit. So on Loliwe in, in business, what do we say under particulars? What do we say? Fees. Fees. Allowance received. 1.3 or allowance. One. You can say fees or you can still say allowance. If you know the rate at which the allowance was given, you can still say one third allowance. Debit or credit? Do credit. You debit or do you credit? Debit. 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 How much? Two, How much? Two thirds. Two thirds. Oh. Okay. And then on fees, what do you say under particulars? Lowly way in business. Lowly way in business. Debit or credit? Credit. Credit. Credit how much? 
230. So you are done with your step number four. Do you see it? Yes. Then you go to step number five. What do you do there? Determine what my to. What do you do in step number five? Determine what is due to you. Determine how much is due to you. How much? Open us. If you want to determine, go to the relevant client's account in business. In this case, it will be the correspondence account in business. How much do you see there? How much? 230. 230. Now, check if it is available in the trust account. When you go to the trust account, is it available? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Now, so, how much is available in the trust account? 5,400. No. Trust cash book. Look at Loliwe Inc. in trust. In trust. That is where the money must ultimately come from. Does she have any money in trust? We have or 6,000. There is enough in trust. Consider both the debit and There's no money. Account. No. There's a difference balance. of 230. Aha. Uh -huh. So there's money. There's how much? How much do you have there? 230. 230. So it's available. Yes. So you can proceed with the transfer. Do you follow? Yeah. Yeah. No, hmm. sir. No. Uh, it can be. There's nothing. There's nothing okay. because if it's in the Let's credit. Go back. Let's go back. There's no nothing. Way in, yes, in trust. <laughs> On credit in 88. What be. is the total of the credit side? It's 6,230. 6,230. Yes. Minus 6,230. We have the 230. Is it not available? It is available. It is available. Does everybody get this? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. 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 All right. All right. So, do we all agree that we proceed to the transfer journal? Yes. Right. Let's deal with the transfer journal. Transfer journal. Particulars, debit, credit. And the particulars, what do we say? Debit, credit, leeway, in trust. In trust. Someone asked which page number are we on? <laughs> the Leeway Inc. in business. Puppy. So we debit the Leeway Inc. in trust with how much? 230. And we credit the Leeway Inc. in business. Puppy, with how we're much? doing exercise. 230. Narration. Transfer of fee. Transfer of fee. Transfer of fees transfer or of fees. Allowance. transfer of allowance. We've just made use of the journal. Do you see? Yes, sir. Okay. 
Where do we go? Post to ledgers. We post to ledgers. Loluwe Inc. and Trust, what are we going to do? We're going to debit. debit. We will debit Loluwe Inc. in Trust. And our narration will be. Only you were in business. Only way in business. How much are we debiting? Where else do we go? That's lonely way in business. Lonely way in business. What do we do? Debit or credit? Credit. Uh, credit. We credit lonely way in business. With how much? Two thirty. And our narration is. Lonely way in can trust. So we credit 230. So we have the same value on both sides when you look at uh, Loliwe Inc. in business, not so? Mm -hmm. Yes. 230 sir. on the debit side, 230 on the credit side. Do you see? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so it means this account has become settled. You can actually even close it like this. You see? Please scroll up, sir. We can't see. Huh? I can't see. Please scroll up. Huh? Thank you. So this way we have begun the process of transferring. Uh, someone commented our cut for doing the job is too small. Sir, may you please go to the transfer journal? Oh, one alma, I want a moon. Um, we are now dealing with the manuscript. Eh? We are now dealing with the manuscript. Eh? We must take money out of the trust account to the business account. And how do we do this? Cash, cash book. Cash book. What do we do in the trust cash book? Credit. Credit. We credit the trust cash book. And what do we say in explaining this transaction? To business cash, business cash book. So we say transfer to business cash book. Not so. Transfer to business cash book. Do we debit or do we credit? Credit. Credit. How much? We credit. 230. 230. Is that all we do? Business cash. What else do we do? And major. No, it's a cash transaction. Where do we go from here? We have credited the trust cash book. Which other book must be debited? The business cash book. The business cash book. Because we must receive this money in the business account. Do you follow? Yes. Yes. Right. So we will create the business cash book here. 
business cash book so that we can debit and we never used the business cash book before it will have particulars debit and credit columns what do you say under particulars X trust cash book. X trust cash book. Do we debit or credit? We debit. How much? Two thirty. Two thirty. Yes. So this way, we have transferred funds from the trust account to the business account. We have transferred funds from the trust account to the business account, and. Um, we have accordingly concluded step number five. What is left now? Step six. Step six. What do we do in step number six? We draw statement of account. Draw statement of account. We draw statement of account. But before you go to the statement of account, you can go to your trust cash book. Are you there? Yes, yes. Sir. yes. What do you what see there? You? What do you see there? You are seeing two figures, not so? Yes, sir. Yes. One on the debit side and another on the credit side. Mm -hmm. On the debit side, you see 5,400, and on the credit side, you see 230. Yes. Does everybody see this? Yes. Correct. Yes, sir. What does this mean to you? It's Need to pay the clients. Huh? Need to pay your clients. Yes, you have funds which are due to your client. How much? 5,100. 5, Five thousand. One hundred. Does everybody get this figure? Five thousand one hundred and seventy. Yes. Yes, sir. And mm -hmm. how did we arrive at this figure? We well, minus the two. Minus two thirteen. Yes. Debit side minus credit side. Credit side. Or five thousand four hundred minus two hundred and thirty. So we get 5130. What do we do with this money? Is it ours? Should it stay in trust? No. 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 What do we no. do? No. What do we do? Over. Transfer to the client. We pay the over. client. And who's the client? Mr. Sibad. Mr. Sibad. Mr. Sibad. And Mr. how do we pay? Do we debit or do we credit? Credit. 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 And you say it's 5170, not so. Yes. 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 Is that all we do? We Is no. the crediting the trust cash book sufficient? No. No. What else do we do? Receive it in his account. You debit your client's account in trust. Not so. Mm. Yes. Yes. All right. yes. What will your narration be? Trust cash book. Trust cash book. Debit or credit? Debit. 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 How much? 5,170. 5,170. Do you now see that Mr. Sbata's account in trust has the same value on both sides? Yes. Yes. Uh, 830 plus 5,170 is equal to 6,000. 6, and on the credit side, you've got 6,000. Yes. So you can close this account. And how do you do this? You simply come here and you record 6,000. And then also on the credit side, you record 6,000. So you've closed this account. Then you can proceed to deal with a statement of account.
And we can hear some sounds. Can you please uh, mute yourself? Under particulars, what do we say? Okay, maybe another tip. When you draw a statement of account, when you draw a statement of account to your client, please draw it as if you did the work. You understand this? as if you personally attended to yeah. the instruction and not your correspondent. Do you follow? So all those attendances by your correspondent will be as if they were your attendances. And what will this mean? What this will mean is that you will go back to the correspondent statement of account. So you personally attended the transactions? Yes. So what you will do is you'll actually attend to the transaction. You will you will copy the correspondent statement of account. In that statement, you will only exclude the allowances. You take out the allowances. You take out the allowances and you also take out the EFT amount as well as the balancing figures there. You will determine new ones. Do you see? Okay. May, may you repeat that? Sir. Yeah. What do you exclude? And minus? Exclude the allowances. The EFT amount, you are going to determine a new one, as well as the balancing figures, you will determine new ones as well. So you copy the, the rest of the statement as is. Then it means your first item will be instruction fee. Instruction fee. It's a debit entry of how much? How much? 90. 90. Do you 90. see? Yes. yes. Number two. What is next? Payment. Tracing agent. Tracing, Tracing agent. agent. Yes. How much? 140. 140. 140. 140. 140. 140. 140. Debited. Do you see? Yes. 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 Next. Collected commission. What is the next item? Collection commission. Collection commission. No. It's cash by Mr. Rex. Cash received. Not so. Yes. 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 Payment received. Debit or credit? Credit. 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 How much? Credit. 6,000. 6,000. Next. 6,000. Yes. Next. Collection commission. Collection commission. Collection commission. How much? 600. Debit or credit? Debit. 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 Debit 600. Next. Allowance. We're excluding the EFT. Oh, we're excluding. Then you'll have a new EFT. Not so. Yeah. We do our EFT now. Yes, our own. Our own EFT. Right. Now let's determine our balances. What will our balancing figures be this time? Which of the two sides has the highest value? 6,000. 6,000. 
the credit side. So you'll have 6,000 on the debit side and 6,000 on the credit side. Do you see? Yes. yes. Now, credit side minus debit side. How much? 5,170. 5, 5, 5,170. 5,170. Is this figure new? No. No, no sir. Have you seen it? Yes. 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 This is the same figure that you recorded on the credit side of the trust cash book, not so? Yes. Yes, Correct. Sir. Right. So, ladies and gentlemen, for recording these simple things in this simple way, you become entitled to full marks. If this question is out of 30, you become entitled to 30 marks. Just for recording like this. So can you open your fees journal? Yes. Yes, the fees journal. Oh, thank you, thank you. Just one. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Can you um, just repeat step number six? You said you exclude allowances and what else? We exclude allowances. The EFT, you take off that amount and you also change the balancing figures. You will determine your own with your own figures. Uh, sir, just to ask, is it necessary to close all the journals? I I said on Monday that you may you may do so, but we hardly award marks for that. We hardly award marks for that. If it is specifically required that you do so, please do so. Otherwise, we will not penalize you for not closing up. Because we normally don't even allocate marks for that. But if we do, we do require that you. You record balances, then you should. Or that you should close, then you should. Can you please uh, go to your trust cash book? Yes, I'm here. Here's a trust cash book. Right, I'm going to make these ex exercises available for you to view, eh? Thank you, sir. Please. Thank you so yes. much. Please, please, please. Thank you so much. So if I may ask, is there a possibility of them giving us uh, the EFT in the form of a, a favorable and unfavorable balance if it's not given in the sense that it is given in this exercise? You will normally get it like this. All right, all right. Because we want you to follow the steps. All right, thank you. Is there any other question on uh, correspondent accounts? May you please open a transfer journal? Transfer journal? Here we are. Uh, Take us through the transfer journal again. We are at the transfer journal. Like, um, how to transfer? If we could go through the process again. Okay. Before you transfer, you need to firstly determine how much is due to you. 
that will determine how much is due to you. And secondly, check if what is due to you is available in the trust account. Once you are satisfied that you have determined how much is due to you and it is available in the trust account, then you proceed to the transfer journal. On the transfer journal, you will debit the client from whose account and trust you are transferring money and credit that same client in business. In our case here, you will debit the correspondent in trust and credit the correspondent in business. And your narration will be transfer of allowance or transfer of fees. If you're a vet vendor or there's vet provided for, it will be transfer of fees plus vet. Yes, yes. Can you go to Mr. Sabata's trust account? Mr. Sabata's account in trust. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Sabata's account in trust, sir. Yeah, thank you, sir. You were explaining, how did you get the 5170? <laughs> Yes, are we winning? We are winning, sir. Can you go to Transfer Journal again? Transfer Journal. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Sorry, sir. Um, yes. In the business cash book and the fees ledger, I see that we yeah. only I only recorded on the one side. Is that no? Look at the oh, fees journal. Okay, yes, yes, okay. I see where I... it's both sides. Uh, I mean the fees ledger. The ledger. The fees ledger. Yeah. Okay. Let's see the fees ledger. Yes, it's only recorded on one side. So, yes, so on the credit if, side if, only. Yes, yes. If they require us to balance the accounts, how would we indicate the, the balance of the, this one and the business cash book? OK, let's go to the business cash book quickly if you want to see how you'll balance it. 
Yes, okay. Is everybody paying attention? You'll simply say here, 230. 230. And on the credit side here, you'll simply write balance 230. Do you follow? Yes, thank you, sir. Yes. The same goes for your fees ledger. On the debit side, you'll simply write balance. In fact, where is the... Okay, no, no. This one here, you'll write on the debit side, um, on the credit side, balance, but then you'll explain it on the particulars. You'll say balance, and then on the credit side, you'll record the 230. It shouldn't trouble you. I almost use the old system. Do you follow? And yes. the same will go for your fees. You can simply say here, just below um, Loliwe Inc. under the fees ledger, you'll say here balance and you debit 230. And on the balancing figures here, you'll write uh, 230 on the debit side and uh, 230 on the credit side. All right. Yes, thank you, sir. You may proceed. You're welcome. All right, so if there are no further questions, Just we will call it there. Yeah. Can you visit your trust journal again? Trust journal. Here we are, sir, trust journal. Sorry, sir, can I just confirm, if we use the old system, we won't be penalized. You did say that, hey? Yeah, no, no, you won't be. Okay, perfect, thank you. Sure. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. So we're still doing the question. We haven't moved on to question two. Yeah? I lost connection. I'm only asking if we're still doing that the question one. Yeah, we're exercise. still busy with this. The first question, question one. Question one, okay. Yes. All right, tomorrow we will be dealing with conveyancing transactions. Please go through your notes under conveyancing transactions. Okay. Go through your notes under conveyancing transactions. The connections are so bad. Signal. When we are almost done. I think so maybe... I'm saying Connection. Go through conveyancing transactions for the purposes of tomorrow's lesson. Conveyancing transactions. We will also be okay. treating. We'll be treating uh, exercise number one, which talks about the sale of property between uh, uh, Tepenen and um, the purchaser there. Have you seen that um, exercise? Yes. Uh, yes. 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 Sells property to Candini. Yes. With Maporo yes. providing a loan. Yes. You see? Yes, yes sir. Yes. yes, we see it, sir. Yes. We will, we will deal with that uh, tomorrow. For now, let's call it a night. Sorry, sir. Can I just sure. uh, Thank you, sir. Good morning. Sir, Maya. Sir, Maya. Just ask a question. No, sir. Just one. Uh, just one request. Can I request right. you speak yesterday? Is okay. I just want to take a screenshot. It will take just one minute. Eh? 
Can I just request yeah. that uh, to, from yesterday's work, I would like to take a screenshot. Yesterday's just, work. Just one minute. Yes. Yesterday's no, these work. are going to be posted. Say. No, so okay. Much. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, said you said that, that uh, work, work available for you. All right. Thanks. All In right. PDF. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, sir, may I please ask a favor? Okay. Thank you. Uh, we, uh, can you please just uh, paginate these pages so that when we print it, we print oh, it in, yes. the same, yes. uh, in the same yeah. way as we did the exercise. Uh, I'll do so. For you to yeah. see which one comes after which. Exactly. That's correct, sir. Thank I'll do you. So. I'll Thank do you. So. Much appreciated. Right. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Yeah. Good See night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 All right. Ah, Bye-bye. Ah, ah, ah. Reminds me of Jacob Zuma. Reminds you of who? Jacob Zuma. Oh, Jacob Zuma. <laughs> the man thought he could run forever. Yeah, Casanova. Mr. Zoom Zoom. I used to call him Mr. Zoom Zoom. Zoom Zoom. Guys, zoom. please don't talk about yeah, Zuma zoom, like zoom. that. Please. Hello, guys. Thank you. Bye. Hello. Hello. Hello, guys. Come through, sir. We're listening. Tell me something, man. Uh, this uh, question is coming out for 30 marks. It's one of the questions. How long will this take us to answer in the examination? I think this is for the board.